Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for BTW 21 News. Luis, we are greeting you. We hope that you have enjoyed your week thus far. One more day, we'll be seeing the weekend. We're going to start off with news in the Ridgeway community of Henry County, where four people were taken to the hospital after a two-vehicle collision there. We understand that, again, that total of uh, four people were taken to the hospital. This crash happened there on Greensboro Road at Shamrock Drive near People's Safe Station. And what we can tell you again is that four people were taken to the hospital. As you see there in this footage that we were able to caption the scene, a total of uh, three people were in the Lexus SUV. They were taken to the hospital, as well as the one individual that was in the red pickup truck that you see there on your on your screen. At this time, it is unknown how the crash occurred as Virginia State Police continues to investigate that incident. The Ridgeway District Volunteer Fire Department and again State Police responded there. The Henry County Sheriff's Office assisted with traffic control and of course the Henry County Department of Public Safety transported those four people to local hospital to the local hospital here in Martinsville. Of course, uh, Route 220, which is Greensboro Road, was uh, closed. The southbound lanes, that is, while crews were working to get this uh, vehicle crash cleaned up. At this time, all southbound lanes are now open. We're going to talk about some good news for the next uh, half of the newscast, and that's talking about the uh, local youth, especially those that did uh, not complete high school or, of course, or dropouts. So there's some good news because the U.S. Department of Labor has awarded the West Piedmont Workforce Development Bo Board $1.5 million to implement a three-year program to prepare local dropout youth for better futures. The West Piedmont Youth Build Program will serve disadvantaged and dropout youth ages 16 to 24 in the counties of Henry, Patrick, and Pennsylvania in the cities of Danville and Martinsville, according to a press release from Virginia Career Works. Participants will be trained to obtain employment that leads to self-sufficiency in an identified construction or health care career. This program is being launched from the Guided Career Exploration Program funded by the Harris Foundation. Enrollment will begin in October, and you can head on over to btw21.com. We have already posted the article. If you would like to get some more information in regards to, again, some great news coming to our community. Uh, it must also be noted that we were the only area in the entire United States to receive that reward. So definitely a good thing to be sharing with you on this Thursday edition of our newscast. Continuing to talk about good news, uh, we've been talking a lot about uh, business openings this uh, month, and that continues to be the, you know, news for today. Rudy's Girl Media, which is an independent um, media services uh, company, has opened their doors in Uptown. Dustin Staples has that report. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to thank you for joining us here today. We've got another exciting Uptown business opening here in Uptown Martinsville, and we are just uh, thrilled to be here today. So if you kind of just introduce yourself, the business, and just kind of give a little bit of background about it. So my name is Natalie Hodge. I'm the founder and owner of Rudy's Girl Media. Uh, we're a multimedia content development company. We specialize in film, television, short form content, and social media, um, do a lot of things. And we really want to inspire people in this community to do some great digital storytelling. Alrighty, and then, you know, you emphasized a lot on the digital media aspect. And then, you know, how does that play an important factor in our society today? Well, we're all connected by the internet. Um, you know, digital content is one of the most powerful sources of information that we have. And we really want our community to be a leader in telling our own stories. And so it's important that we have digital content facilities to help people with their storytelling development, um, to support us getting our name and our image out into the public. All righty. And again, let's kind of talk about some of the projects that you have coming up or maybe you have already accomplished so far. So our big project, our flagship project, this Hometown Hustle, it's uh, a series about how small businesses and small towns make a big impact. And so we're in season two, which covered a huge footprint across Southern Virginia, from Patrick County all the way to Brunswick, and then up to Prince Edward, and all points in between. And we're so excited about that. Cell is a local project that um, we took on in 2019, Stolen Crowns in 2020, and lots of other short form content since then. Do you do any contract work or is all this internal? 
Yes, we actually do work with um, companies and organizations to produce capital campaign videos, informational training videos. Um, so we just wrapped up a contract with the Advancement Foundation to produce their capital campaign video. So we do a wide variety of different projects to help people with their digital storytelling. Alrighty, and again, for people that want to know where you are, tell us the address and the telephone number and the days that you are open. Okay, so we're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, and then other times by appointment. We're in Uptown Martinsville at 30 West Main Street, Suite 101, and you can reach us at info at rudysgirl.com. All right, any other closing remarks you want to give to the viewers and the public around you? just want to thank the community for being supportive, for wrapping their arms around us. It's been a journey that has involved many hands, and we just show extreme gratitude to everyone who's been a part of it. And thank you for covering the story. Really appreciate you all. All right, thank you. Good luck to you as well. And uh, again, it's always a great opportunity to see business opening here in Uptown Martinsville. And come by, give her a call or contact her wherever here on 30 West Main Street. We'll send it back to you in the studio. So that's going to wrap it up here, at least for this portion of BTW 21 News. Of course, the Staples joins us in studio for your local weather forecast. Hi there. Looks like you're in some double trouble. Yeah, hit and run. No worries. Just call Nelson. Nelson? Yep. Autos by Nelson's professionally trained operators will tow your vehicle, repair it at our manufacturer certified body shop, and we can even set you up with a rental car. All you do is pay your insurance deductible, and we also offer discounts to military and first responders. It's just one more way we're doubling up at Autos by Nelson. Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276-634-0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked. Do you need a tractor and loader? backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing. So give Freel Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. Blue Ridge Aquaculture is hiring both full-time and part-time drivers. Home every other night. CDL, Class A, and two years of experience required. Must be at least 21 years of age with a good driving record. Excellent benefit package including medical, dental, vision, life, short-term disability, and long-term disability, and 401k. Apply online at www.blueridgeaquaculture.com or give us a call 276-632-9440 to make an appointment to apply in person at 555 Industrial Park Drive, Ridgeway, Virginia, 24148 during our normal business hours Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter.
All right, folks, we want to welcome you back here to BTW 21. We have got a very special announcement. Do stay tuned. A little bit later at the end of the newscast, we'll uh, give that away once that times get closer. I didn't even know I wasn't doing the news today. I didn't know I was doing the weather. So that will let you know how much of a surprise it's been today all around the neighborhood network. So on that note, we hope you've had a good week. We hope you've enjoyed today. It's been pretty nice out there. The weather has been more considerably cloud cover. We've seen majority of our area. We're going to continue to contend with clouds later on tonight. Again, not much rain is expected, so that's the good news with this. As you do see here, our temperatures are going to stay in the 50s and some upper 40s for the entirety of our coverage area here. We'll come down at 51 Ararat. Meanwhile, Ferrum at 51, 52 Rocky Mount. Again, we'll be dealing with a cloud cover here or there too. Again, not much rain is expected in the forecast, so that is some good news right there to be. Let's move on now to your Friday's forecast. A lot of sunshine in the morning. We'll see some interval clouds and sunshine in the afternoon as we're getting right closer uh, to that time frame. This is the time of year where we do begin to see the warm weather persist and a lot of that cloud cover out there. And we're going to see possibly, again, not much rain, so no rain's expected, just more so cloud cover than anything. Temperatures are ranging from 70 to 74, 73 for a good chunk of our area down to Boone's Rocky Mount, Ferrum, Oak Level, Martinsville, Ridgeway, Stewart, Woolwine, and Ararat. I think I covered everybody on that matter as well. Let's wrap things up here because we're on a limited time for today's newscast. Real quickly, the producer's telling me I've got about 30 seconds to wrap this up, so here we go. We want to see a lot of sunny skies for Saturday here. Warm as well, 78 there. We'll see a chance of rain develop late Saturday night through your low 54. We'll see Sunday you're coming into play right there with a the mix of clouds and sun. And again, mild temperatures and a string of warm weather will persist as we do make our way towards the upcoming weekend. We'll see stray showers possible both Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a late day shower storm can't be rolled out either in the forecast too. So on that note, do enjoy the weekend with a mix of clouds and sun. And we want you to do stick around. We're going to got a lot right more coming up after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zip My Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmeyer Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mountain Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards, and I want you to start your summer off right with a new set of Michelin tires from Riverside Tire Service. From May the 17th until June the 16th, we're going to give you $110 off a set of Michelin tires. Stop by Riverside Tire for the best service, the best prices, the best people, and the best warranty in town. Ra 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 ra. Pete, Christmas is over, son. I ain't talking about Christmas season, Dan the Man. I'm talking about tax season, aka car buying season. And PVT Inc. down there in Field Hill got 50 11 cars to choose from. They got big cars, they got small cars, they even got medium sized cars. My tax check was a little light this year, Pete. Well, that's okay too, Dan the Man, because they do finance. Like PVT Inc. on Facebook and ride by 4264 Appalachian Drive, Field Hill to view inventory. 50 11 more cars are coming in daily. We've been here for 25 years now. 
and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sticking along with us for BTW 21 News. Again, we appreciate your continued company. Our crime report by Apex Bell Bonds follows. Allison White, 34 of Collinsville, charged with probation violation felony. China Martin, 29 of Martinsville, charged with driving while intoxicated, first conviction. James Rohrer, 45 of Rocky Mount, charged with probation violation, misdemeanor, probation violation, felony. Waylon Bolden, Jr., 25 of Reedsville, North Carolina, Charged with simple assault against family, damaged telephone line or, or intercept message, grand larceny. Aaron Johnson, 35 of Martinsville, charged with failed to appear in court for misdemeanor offense. Jody Marshall, 35 of Martinsville, charged with intoxication in public. warning signs of a stroke, learn how to recognize them. Face drooping or twisting, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. Become a stroke hero by learning fast to help save lives and spread awareness. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-638. 8771. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Your obituary report by Bassett Funeral Service is next. Maxine Virginia Foley Hall, 96 of Bassett, passed away Tuesday, May the 16th, 2023. A funeral service will be held Tuesday, May the 23rd at 11 a.m. at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. The family will receive friends Monday, May the 22nd at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel 
from 6 to 8 p.m. James Roy Brown of Bassett passed away May the 16th, 2023. Interment will be at the Draper Family Cemetery on Reed Creek Drive. A celebration of life will be held at a later date. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the Brown family. Online condolences may be made by visiting BassettFuneralService.com. Margaret Lucille Spencer, 91 of Patrick Springs, passed away Tuesday, May the 16th, 2023. The funeral service will be Friday, May the 19th at 12 p.m. at Valley Drive Baptist Church in Fieldale. Visitation one hour prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service is serving the family. Wayne Lewis II, 70 of Collinsville, passed away Tuesday, May the 16th, 2023. A memorial service will be held at 3 p.m. Saturday, May the 20th at Norris Funeral Services in Martinsville. The family will receive friends following, following the service. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276-632-2580. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniels Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Darrell B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry out or catering needs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BTW 21 News. And uh, we're gonna be ending the newscast here. Dustin Staples, of course, joins me in the studio. I'm gonna let him uh, tell you uh, the big announcement that he's been teasing you about for a week now. <laughs> yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, today is my uh, official last weekday here at BTW 21. I have uh, decided to step down from the news world for a little while. This is a personal decision. I wasn't forced by nobody here at BTW 21 uh, to make this decision. It's a decision I've decided, thought, thought about for several uh, months now, and you know, I've thought about it, thought about it, I've talked with Luis, I've talked with everybody here, and I'm actually just kind of you know, taking a break from the TV world, and uh, you know, it's okay to do that you know you have to kind of just debrief a little while and it's been hard to believe six years almost I've been here uh, a lot of you have seen my journey all the way from the start of high school even mm -hmm. going through college recent girl graduating now to now finishing up my time here at BTW 21 but uh, I'm just taking a little time off um, for the summer I'm actually heading to Scranton Pennsylvania uh, to work at a summer camp and my job will be a videographer photographer uh, for a, a co-ed boys and girls camp uh, uh, for a little while again getting out behind and 
behind the camera instead of in front of the camera for a little while. Uh, together, you know, you and I have both been doing this for a total of 10 years almost, uh, and six years almost together here at BTW 21. So that's where I'm heading off to. It's not a goodbye. It's more of a see you later. I was joking uh, with our administrative assistant today, Miss uh, Linda Greer there. She says, Dustin, we're never going to see you again. I said, it ain't a goodbye, you know. We just have to, you know, different paths, uh, different colleagues, and things of that nature. But I want to thank everybody just for, you know, the support, family, friends, uh, you know, thank a good Lord. It's a blessing to be working here, uh, especially with a, a friend, close best friend of mine. And uh, you see it, we, we go out, we're a dynamic duo, as well I like to say. So absolutely, I'm going to leave it there because the more I keep talking, somebody is going to start shedding tears and we're not going to be shedding <laughs> tears today. We have, uh, you know, a lot to get to, but it's, it's been fun. It's hard to believe. Coming to, an, coming to an end. Yeah, the end of an era here at BTW 21. And Dustin, of course, we want to thank you very much for all the uh, weather forecast that you brought <laughs> to us, all the help that you have been behind the scenes. This guy is tremendous. He is a very hard worker, and I'm not just saying that just because he's one of my best friends. Uh, but definitely a sad day. You know, you have to admit that it is a sad day to see Dustin go again. We've been doing this for almost 10 years and six, almost six years here at BTW 21 and we both started around the same time a month and we've apart done, we've done just about everything that you can think of when it comes to news and local cable TV news mm -hmm. and of course uh, we prepared something to <laughs> take a look at some of those years to some of those journeys throughout the years yep. Right, so of course when we're talking about TV, Dustin, <laughs> we have to talk about not always being ready, and that's right. what we're going to start off with oh. today. Oh, man. I had a rough day. I'm going to be honest with you. That clip there you see, I don't want to talk about it. Programming. I'm weatherman Dustin Staples. When you're talking about weather, you got to make it fun, so there's some dancing. And with dancing, you got to do some singing, right, Dustin? Oh, yeah. Why not? As it was. One Direction sponsor me. All right, and one of the biggest things that you've been doing recently is filling in for the news, and you've done it in all capacities. I have. It's a challenge. One of the biggest things that I'm going to really <laughs> miss, Dustin, is having some fun at the parades. Oh, man, good times. And Dustin, again, we talked about making the weather fun. You wore a lot of different costumes. Yeah, and many hats, too. And with costumes, different ties. Mm-hmm. Very. Tell us about some of those. Yeah, look at that. I got a little uh, weather tie there. A big shout out to a mentor in Washington, Darren Dayton, and Thanksgiving tie. And all of this started at Martinsville High School, oh. so that's where you started the case. Man, look at the, the case there. <laughs> and then we have, of course, uh, weather in Radford. Can't forget that. Oh, dear, no. All over the place. And only Radford. Home. COVID. That was fun doing the weather in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> and Dustin, you taught us a lot of different things during the weather with those different objects. Yeah, always be prepared. That's the motto. All right, Dustin. Well, any other closing remarks before we wrap it up here? I mean, I can't really thank everybody enough. Thank you, the viewers, for putting up with me. Thank you for my family, friends, everybody here at BTW21. Thank you to Mr. Chad Hall for dealing with me and, you know, Shania back there, the producer booth, who I've had a great pleasure of getting to know her this year a lot. Uh, and then, you know, Linda, and then you, you know, you and I are the dynamic duo. We're not going, we're not going anywhere. Uh, I need to stop hitting on this desk before I break. That's the last thing I need to do is pay for a desk. But um, it's going to be a little different. Yeah. And whoever comes after this position, you're going to be in a good family and a good work environment, to say the least. And it could be Dustin Staples style, but it'll be whoever takes this job. Good luck. All right, folks. Dustin, we wish you the best in your future endeavors. And, of course, we'll keep you updated with him. <laughs> he's not done with us yet. Uh, at least he thinks he is. But, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to let, you know, that's, that's going to do it here for our newscast. I'm going to let Dustin sign off for the very last time. Thank you very much. And thank you all very much for spending part of your day and last time with me here on the weekday. I'm Dustin Staples. We appreciate your company as always. Do stick around. Another half hour of news and much more great local programming is up next. Good evening, everyone.